How's it going fitness world? Now this is part two of the inverted row. I already did part one. This is part two. So I have advanced variation for the part two. So I have advanced variation for the part two. My TRX is still hanging here. So what I've done is I have a bench here. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna put my feet, my legs on top of the bench and I'm gonna be hanging almost um, horizontal. Basically horizontal. And this is gonna put a great deal of weight, a great deal of load on the upper side of my body and take it away from my lower body. Because when my legs were straighter on the bottom, on the floor, in part one, I was basically using almost probably 40%, maybe 30% of my body weight. Now going um, horizontal, I'm probably gonna be using close to 80% or 90% of my body weight. So my TRX is still hanging here. So once again, I'm gonna hold on to the TRX, the palm facing away from my body, put my feet up on the bench. I'm gonna hang, I'm gonna pull and squeeze, come down slow. Pull and squeeze. Right now I can feel a lot more stress while I'm pulling up. Squeeze at the top. Feel my forearms working a little bit more. Feel my bicep working a little bit more. But I'm pulling more with my back. I'm retracting my scapula. Right there. Pull and squeeze. I'm going to do two more. Squeeze up top. Do one more. Squeeze up top. Wow. That put a lot of stress on my forearm, a little bit of my biceps, and also on my back. Now, the reason why I love using the TRX for this exercise and not the straight bar, as you guys can see, the TRX is not stable. The handles are gonna move and rotate back and forth. But when you're using the straight bar, you just hold on to the bar. You don't have to stabilize the bar. The bar is already stable. But because I'm using an equipment that is not stable, I'm gonna to have to force my wrist to face away from me, which helps me use my forearm a little bit more and a little bit more of my, of my bicep as well. So whichever way you guys wanna do it, I love using the TRX for this. I've used the bar before in the past, but when I switched to the TRX, it challenged me a little bit more. You guys can see my heart rate is up a little bit more. So this is a great exercise. The next variation, I'm gonna turn my arms away from me and I'm gonna show you how it's done. But what I want you to do is make sure you watch this video to the end, all the way to the end. I'm gonna give you a little bit of tips that's gonna even take this exercise to a whole new level and that will help you activate your core while you're working your back and your biceps and your forearms. So I'm gonna show you the last variation. So all the variations that I've done so far, my wrists are faced away from me. Now I'm gonna turn my palm, turning my wrist towards me. This is gonna give you a lot more stress in your biceps. Uh, so you can actually use this exercise a little bit more in combination of back and biceps if you want to. So we'll go put the foot on the bench also, put my feet on the bench. Now I'm gonna grip with my palm facing me. I'm almost in the bicep curl position. Squeeze now, you can see my arms are a little bit more lower instead of higher. I'm pulling right about lower around my chest area. Squeeze, pulling lower side of my chest. Now I can feel more close to the upper middle back along with my biceps. Activating a little bit more with my forearm as well. I'm going to do two more. Squeeze, always stay in control. Pull and squeeze. Oh man, that got me. Wow, that got me good. I felt my forearms, my biceps. Now because I turned my wrist facing me, I pulled a little bit more lower. It's like almost doing like a cable roll, seated cable roll, but much more load because I'm on a horizontal level using my body weight. So the one that I did before, wrist facing my body, my wrist was almost, a little bit closer to the middle of my chest. When I reverse my grip, it went lower 
on the lower side of my chest. So this is a great way to get your biceps to really activate along with your back. So like I said earlier, I'm gonna show you a little bit of extra with this variation. This one is one, this one is the one that I love to do when I wanna activate my abs along with my back, along with my biceps. So it's like doing three in one. So, you can either do this with your, bite, your forearm, your, your wrist facing you, or your wrist facing away from you. So put your feet up there, one leg up, and then you squeeze at the top. One leg up, in coming down, and then you can rotate away, switch, pull, in on the bottom, out when you go up. Breathe in, wow, man I felt my core, my obliques, and what's amazing about using this, doing this exercise with one leg up because that one leg on the bench is slightly bent so I can actually feel my hamstrings stabilizing my body because I'm using an equipment that's not stable. So all my stabilizers are fired as well. Man, this is a great way to really get your biceps, your back, your core, even a little bit of your hamstrings to activate while you're doing the inverted row. So there you have it guys. The inverted row is a great way to get your back and your biceps, hamstrings, and core to activate. Give this a shot and I know you will never be disappointed. Once again, I wanna thank you all for all the positive comment, amazing comment. Um, I wanna thank you for subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to go to MiamiMuscleUSA.com and join our members today, join the membership today. You have all the information you need when it comes to training, eating right, eating for your body type, training program, everything is right there. So if you're already a subscriber, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe below. If you're already a subscriber, ring the bell below and I'll notify you every time I upload a movie, every time I upload a video. I'm out of breath already. This is insane. That's why I love bodyweight exercises because it allows you to use a lot more muscle that you don't use while you're just sitting down, pulling down, doing pulls or doing rows. You know, change your workout up a little bit more. Don't keep doing the same exercises all the time. Bodyweight exercising with equipment that's not stable will help challenge you a little bit more. So there you have it. Monsieur Ojiolua, Miami Muscle, signing out. But the next time, see you all.